there's a story we're all familiar with about a boy and a bear. But as Ernest Hemingway once said, all things truly wicked start from innocence. Now, friends, see the true version of events surrounding this pair and how exceptionally different they are to what we've all been told. Since last we saw our Christopher Robin, things haven't been so good. The Hundred Acre Massacre, as it came to be known, sent shockwaves through the quiet community of Ashdown. And the public outcry against Christopher was fierce. Suspicions grew. Few believed him. Most did not. He became a pariah. But a small group of locals believed Christopher and set out to hunt the creatures of the Hundred Acre Wood. Over the course of months, they searched and searched. If Pooh and his friends were out there, the places they could hide were diminishing. Since then, some time has passed. And winter has arrived once more. A cold and unforgiving time. With the Hundred Acre Wood no longer safe, Pooh was forced to reunite with some of his long-lost friends. Necessary if they had any hope of surviving. In an effort to pick up the pieces, Christopher finished his medical training and joined the staff at Ashdown Hospital as a junior doctor. But it quickly became clear the community didn't trust Christopher. His future was very much in doubt. Unknowingly, both Christopher and Pooh were facing the same ostracism. Unwanted. Hated. They knew they could not go on like this. Change was coming. However, one thing remains certain. Wherever they go and whatever happens to them on their journey, that boy and his bear will always be playing. And sadly, there would be many casualties along the way. Thank you.